Hey, folks, it's great to have you with us as we welcome everyone to this year's in-season tournament. Along with Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson, this is Brian Anderson, and we've got our reporter, Allie LaForce. Now the opening lineup for the Portland Trailblazers. Henderson and Simons are in the backcourt. DeAndre Ayton is out there with Walker, and it's Grant in at the three spot. And for Phoenix, Royce O'Neal is out there with Kevin Durant. Then it's MP, then there's Devin Booker, and it's Nurkic in at the five down low. All right, Grant, as a team, how long do you think it takes to figure out if you're a legitimate contender? You know, B.A., a lot of teams come into the season thinking they are contenders, and they have to find out the hard way that, quite honestly, they're just not. But generally, I'd say you have a good idea after the first month or so of the year. And the Trailblazers start out with the ball. And we'll see MP facing off with Scoot Henderson here in this one. This will be the first time they've ever met on the floor. Look, we know Scoot is a force with the ball in his hands. Look, you got to pick him up right when he crosses and do not get comfortable with him in his spots. And their first look at each other this year. This is a matchup we all really love to watch. So let's see how MP handles it. Here's Durant after the basket by Portland. They push it up four on three. There's Simons with a three. Kevin Durant pulls it in. And so Durant will bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. Defeated by Utah in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. It was poor efficiency scoring the ball. They needed too many attempts to get their points. Yeah, it looked like they were settling out there, not moving the ball enough to generate the type of shots that they wanted. And Portland has possession. Following the score by Phoenix. And in most other draft classes, Scoot Henderson could have been a top pick. Yeah, he has the talent and skill you want in a number one overall pick. Circumstance of the class drops him down, but he has everything you look for in a franchise centerpiece. The first free throw is good. You talk about players connected to their cities. Devin Booker is the man in Phoenix, Richard. Oh, as a Phoenician myself, I remember when he was drafted back in 2015. Devin has spent his entire career in the Valley of the Sun. And look, the fans here in the state of Arizona love the Suns. They are the most popular team in town. And Grant, this season, the Blazers adding a G League affiliate at North Portland. Yeah, B.A., I mean, the second to last team to do it. And the Suns next season will make it 30 for 30. Now there's a G League counterpart operating under each of the league's teams. Here's Henderson. Can't hit. One for two now. Walker against Duran. To the paint. Pass to O'Neal. Outside Booker. Shot clock at six. Shoots over Simons. A nice shot by Booker. Make no mistake. Devin Booker is a shooter. If he sees a chance, he is going to take it. And here's Simons outside. He drops it from range. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Pass to Nurkic. MP outside. Let's it fly. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Their first chance to take a look at the Suns this season. Yes, the first of four meetings between the teams. They should be quite familiar with one another by the end of it. And the more you see each other, the more contentious it gets. No bad blood between these teams right now, but that can change over the course of the season. The Suns have gone just two for four from the floor. Nurkic passes to Booker. It's rebounded by Grant. And so Grant will bring it up for the Portland Trailblazers. It's a three-point game. They come into this one having outplayed the Thunder in their last game. I mean, there really are no words. The fortitude it took to just endure that many overtimes cannot be understated. Now here's Booker. He's coming off a 10-point game against Utah. And a big part of that was his aggressiveness drawing contact and getting to the line. Oh, just an easy reverse for him. He has nice feel and touch around the bucket. Pass to Graham. Simons outside. Fires for three. 
Another miss. He's one for four from the field. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Here's Durant. Connects on the foul line jumper. In the mid-range, Durant is deadly as ever. Easy money sniper putting up a little silky jumper. Henderson finds Simons. Again, Simons missing. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. Yeah, straight up, guys. Like, he's ice cold, like freezing. What's colder than cold? But you don't have to shoot it, my guy. It's okay to pass the ball. Now here's Simons. Turned in an outstanding game against Oklahoma City. Henderson for three. And it's Devin Booker with a rebound. That was a good possession. They got a clean look. The shot just didn't fall. There's 47 seconds left in the first quarter. Durant with a screen on Simons. And the Suns getting another bucket right there. Portland has gone just one of six from downtown. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Grant the pass to Simons. Outside Walker. Let's it go from deep. Phoenix grabs the miss. 19 seconds left now in the first quarter. MP against Henderson. MP right side from 13. The shot that time not on target. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Suns ahead, up three. We'll take a quick break and then get you back to the action. Seven. Close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. All right, guys, what stands out to you from the Suns in this one? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. It's been a group effort, and that's what it takes to play the kind of defense that they've played. Great showing from them. Here are the five. Portland has to start the second. We've got Robert Williams and Freddie Simons out there with Malcolm Brogdon. Then it's Shaden Sharp, and it's Kamare in at the four. Brogdon against Booker. Simons left side. They set the pick. Pass to Kamare. Man, a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It goes on bowl bowl. Well, Grant, we saw a lot of lower seeds winning series in last year's playoffs. Is the regular season losing importance? You know, B.A., there's greater parity, which means less separation in the league, especially between the top seeds and the bottom seeds. But still, the league needs to make sure regular season games do matter. And he makes a first. Well, looking back, it wasn't too long ago, Grant. The Blazers had an eight-year playoff streak. NBA, that's no easy task. Some great years, but couldn't get over the hump. Now I think it's time to reset and build around their youth. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Well, Kevin Durant talked about what keeps him going. He said, quote, simply put, I enjoy hooping. I like when the ball goes through the rim, working on my game, building with the team. It gives me joy that I crave, a kid like energy. So I'm going to keep chasing that feeling. And the second that goes away, I'll call it quits. Brian? Ali, thank you. The Suns leading. Here's Beal, coming off a 16-point game against the Jazz in Salt Lake City. Bowl, a screen on Simons. Beal, the pass to Bowl. That one's in there on the nice assist from Beal. Cunning decision by Beal. The pick and roll doesn't free him up, so he moves the ball. Pass to Williams. 
Back to Brogdon. And here is Williams. Just five to shoot. Trailblazers got to hurry. Got to get up a shot. Brogdon from outside. From deep. Brogdon. A legitimate threat beyond the arc. Brogdon's sense for when to shoot from there is outstanding. Beal outside. Tries it from 16. Oh, clanks that one. He's 0 for 1 to start. Defense kind of rolled the dice there, and I'm a little surprised that it ended up going their way with the miss. Simons passes to Brogdon. They set a pick. Launches it. And again, it's the Trailblazers from deep. What I like about Brogdon is that he takes his time, allowing these scoring opportunities to open up naturally. Pass to Allen. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. Allen's got his first points of the night. Obviously, this guy has a talent for scoring. Able to problem solve for whatever the defense tosses at him. And here's Simons outside. The rebound by Eubanks. He came out today planning to do as much damage from three-point range as possible. Well, it looks like it's time to change up the plan, guys. And it's Simons with the ball for Portland. They'll face the Jazz after this game. That'll be at home. It'll be a quick stopover at home before they have to get back out on the road. It's Booker on the wing, guarded by Brogdon. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Beal, the pass to Eubanks. Knocked away. Simons with it. Beal picks him up. From the wing. And he drops that one in. Simons has got five points. The Suns trailing. Time called here. The Suns decide to talk it over. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan and everything falls into place for a team. different look here. Yusuf Nurkic, he's checked in for Eubanks. Durant comes in for Bowl. O'Neal, he's checked in for Allen. And MP subbed in for Booker. A minute 39 left to play in the first half of basketball. Pass to Beal. Out of bounds. It'll be Portland's ball. Lots can be said about Bradley Beal's scoring, Grant, but there's more to his game than that. Yeah, B.A., I mean, the shooting is just the most eye-catching part. He also averages solid assist numbers and plays at a high effort level off ball or on defense. Now here's Brogdon. An 11-point game for him in the win against Oklahoma City. And a big part of that was his aggressiveness drawing contact and getting to the line. This matchup is going exactly how we hoped it would. These two guys are going right at each other, both looking to gain any air. Shot by Nurkic, no good. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. When Jeremy Grant is dishing out an assist, that is a great sign for this team. The Suns have gotten just two of six field goals to go in the second. Henderson against MP. There's 47 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Nice D from Henderson. Yeah, despite standing about six foot two, Henderson has a big time vertical, and he plays a lot bigger than his height. At the line for the Trailblazers, Henderson taking two shots. No 
good on that one. Yeah, a ripped physical guard. Henderson's competitive nature and drive to keep improving is really impressive. Simons is checked in for Brogdon. And he sinks the second. Yeah, they're playing a much more physical game here in the second quarter. The Suns shooting around 29% in quarter number two. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Pass to Beal. Clock at six. Shoots over Simons. Beal's shot is good. Beal's gotten his first bucket of the night. Now Portland with it. They're on a 14-6 run. Simons passes to Walker. Now Henderson. Three-pointer. That one doesn't drop. Durant for three. That shot, no good. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. It's the Trailblazers. They lead by five. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. Hey folks, welcome to the Halftime Show. A lead right now in this one for the Portland Trail Blazers. The effort we've seen from the bench so far, it really helps to keep this kind of depth. Guys who can come in on the offensive end and they don't miss a beat. Makes things a little easier on the starters, but in the second half, they're gonna have to bring it as well. All right guys, let's talk about our players of the week for both conferences. In the Eastern Conference, Joel Embiid. Embiid beats you with that versatility. He can score from anywhere on the floor, rebounds with the best of them, and he defends at a high level. I mean, what more can you ask for, Shaq, huh? Glad you could join us. Ryan Anderson and crew are ready to take it away for the start of the third quarter. in that first half we saw a pretty tight battle we'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime you look good henderson what a contribution 